anatomy of appendix appendix arises from posteromedial wall of the cecum and about 2 cm below the iliocecal junction now let us talk about the dimensions of the appendix the length of the appendix is approximately 2 to 20 cm but the average is 9 cm and the length varies with the age and it is longer in children than adult and the width is 5 mm and the diameter of lumen also varies with the age for example is more in children than adult and often obliterated after mid-adult life if you see the parts of the appendix over here appendix has three parts base body and the tip so the base of the appendix if you see it is attached to the posteromedial wall of the cecum that is approximately about 2 cm below iliocecal junction and at the base of the appendix all of the three tinea of the cecum converge and the convergence of the tinea serves as a guide for the surgeon to search for the appendix during appendectomy and next is the body of the appendix body of the appendix is narrow and tubular part between the base and the tip next is the tip of the appendix it is least vascular distal and blind end of the appendix and it is directed in various directions now let us talk about the position of the appendix normally appendix lies in the right iliac fossa and the base of the appendix is always fixed whereas the tip can point in any of the following positions what you can see over here the first one is the paracolic position which is also called as 11 o'clock position so here appendix lies below the cecum and tip ascends on the right side of the ascending colon it is seen in about 2% of the cases and the second one is a retrocecal position which is also called as 12 o'clock position it is a commonest type and seen in approximately greater than 60% of the cases and appendix passes retroperitoneally behind the cecum and the ascending colon and the third one is the splenic position which is the 2 o'clock position so here appendix tip passes upwards and medially in front of the terminal part of the ileum or behind the terminal part of the ileum that is the pre ileal variety is most dangerous because inflammation from the appendix spreads to the general peritoneal cavity and the pre ileal type is seen in approximately 1% of the cases and post ileal type is seen in 0.4% of the cases and it is rare and the fourth is the promontoric position which is also called as 3 o'clock position this position is rare in occurrence and here the appendix step as you can see directed horizontally towards sacral promontory and the fifth one is the pelvic position or 4 o'clock position it is the second commonest position and it is present in approximately greater than 30 percent of the cases so here the appendix strip passes downwards and medially and crosses the pelvic brim to enter the true pelvis and the sixth one is the mid inguinal position which is also called as six o'clock position and it is also called as subsecal position here appendix step passes vertically downwards below the cecum and it is pointed towards the inguinal ligament and it is seen in approximately 2% of the cases now after discussing the different positions now let us talk about the peritoneal relations of the appendix so vermiform appendix is an intraperitoneal structure and it is suspended by 
a small triangular fold of peritoneum known as meso appendix or mesentery of peritoneum here meso appendix is derived from posterior or left layer of the mesentery of the ileum here the appendicular artery runs through the free margin of the meso appendix and next is the appendicular orifice appendicular orifice is placed 2 cm below the ileocecal orifice on the posteromedial aspect of the cecum here it sometimes guarded by indistinct semilunar fold of the mucous membrane known as valve of gerlach and uh, what is the mcburney's point and it is very important for every medical student to know it lies at the junction of the lateral one third and the medial two third of the line joining the right anterior superior iliac spine to the umbilicus and this is called as or the site of maximum tenderness is called as mcburney's point and maximum tenderness at this point is seen in the appendicitis which is inflammation of the appendix now let us talk about neurovascular structures of the appendix in the first one is the blood supply that is arterial supply appendix is supplied by appendicular artery which is a branch of inferior division of the iliocolic artery and it is the end artery it enters the meso appendix by passing behind the terminal part of the ileum and runs in free margin of the meso appendix finally to reach the tip of the appendix over here and uh, after the arterial supply next is the venous drainage appendix is drained by the appendicular vein this appendicular vein drains into ileocecal vein from there it drains into the superior mesenteric vein and finally into the portal vein and this is the venous drainage of the appendix and now what is the nerve supply sympathetic nerve supply to the appendix is from the t10 spinal segments via lesser splanchnic nerves and the superior mesenteric plexus and the parasympathetic nerve supply is from both of the vagus nerves and now let us talk about the histology that is microscopic structure wall of the appendix contain four layers mucosa submucosa muscular layer and serosa mucosa it is lined by a simple columnar epithelial cells and numerous goblet cells here villi are absent in the appendical mucosa intestinal glands which are also called as the crypts of liberkin are short and less in number when compared to that of the ileum and next is the submucosa appendix is commonly known as abdominal tonsil as its submucosa contains ring of large lymphoid follicles and next is the muscle layer the muscle layer contains outer longitudinal and the inner circular smooth muscles and at last is the serosa serosa contains visceral peritoneum so all these are the layers of the appendix